what's going on guys, I'm Blue Performance and welcome to today's video. So Modern Warfare now has been out for I think 3 days now by the time I'm recording this. And if you guys are like me, you guys have been no life and grinding this game, trying to reach max level as fast as you can. And I'm going to help you guys and tell you guys how I'm doing it. Because currently right now I am level 108. There's no prestiges in the game which kind of sucks. Uh, it goes up to level 55 and then you go through like commander rankings which goes up to 155 which reset back you uh, resets you back down to level 55 after every season which I'm assuming is every couple months. I don't know, I'm still learning the concept and everything. It kind of sucks, I miss prestiging. I like to show how much of a no life I am and how much I grind the game. But regardless, this is the situation we're in now and I want to show you guys how you guys can rank up as fast as you can in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So the number one thing you want to do before you even go on the game is head over to Walmart, Target, your local gas station even, and go check out the specially marked bags and bottles of Mountain Dew and Doritos. They will have Modern Warfare tags on them. They also will have the codes that will allow you to get some double XP in the game. The big bags of Doritos and like the cases of uh, Mountain Dew, they're 30 minutes each I believe. Or the case of Mountain Dew might be an hour. The big bags of Doritos are 30. And the small bags of the Dorito and the cans of Monster are 15 minutes of double XP each. So make sure you guys are going out and buying that. Because that will really help you in your grind to reach the max level. So now that you have your codes. You have your double XP. You're ready to hop into a game of Call of Duty. What game mode should you be playing? So when I first started playing. I was playing Thursday afternoon. Around like 1 o'clock. If you guys did not know. If you change your Xbox location to New Zealand. You were actually able to play it. Uh, early because New Zealand I believe Australia got the game Thursday morning and uh, the USA North America got it I want to say I think it was 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so I was able to play eight hours before anyone else in North America so I was just grinding the game and the game mode I was playing the most was domination you obviously want to be playing objective game modes as it will get me more XP in the end you got like little objectives to do it's not as much for per kill I believe it's 100 TDM 50 for domination or any other objective game mode but still, you're going to be getting a lot more XP if you be playing Domination. However, if you guys know, I'm not playing Domination in the footage that you guys are watching. No, this is a game mode called Ground War. When I first started playing that Thursday afternoon, Ground War wasn't out. It came out Friday afternoon, so that was, everybody flooded that game mode. And with good reason, you get a lot of XP and your KD will skyrocket. Uh, that's right. As you guys can see here... I am just in a tank, just, you know, killing people all over the place. It's wicked easy. Uh, when I first started playing the game, I didn't like it. I figured it was a lot of camping. It's a huge map. It's You drive vehicles. It's a five-flag uh, five domination game mode. So I figured there'd be a lot of camping, and it's, uh, there really is. It still is. But if you're in a tank, you are almost guaranteed to get at least 15, 20 kills a game. So as I'm recording this, it's October 27th, uh, there's only two maps that you are able to play in Ground War, and that is this map which you guys are watching on the screen here, which is Tavors District, and the other map which is Karst River Quarry. In my opinion, this map that I'm playing right now is the worst map just because it's, you got the three huge towers in the middle of the map that people just camp the entire time. If, you got, if they just take the towers out of the game, I feel like this map would be really much more enjoyable. It's just too many people camping up there and it's just annoying. But, if you're in a tank, you can just go around just wiping people all over the place. It's ridiculously easy and you get so many kills. So, the only downside to this really, is your kills don't count toward your kill streaks or your score streaks, whatever one uh, you're rocking. But, it will help you in completing your daily challenges or even your multiplayer challenges as well. Uh, your missions. So missions are another thing that's going to get you a lot of XP if you start doing it. The very first mission is boot camp, so it's like a bunch of easy things like play one public online match, get 15 kills and stuff like that. Make sure you guys are grinding that. So yeah, if you guys are not aware, the daily challenges are giving you like 2,000 to 6,000 XP along with loot depending on the difficulty of the mission. Make sure you guys are completing those, that will definitely help you on your way to reaching max level. As well, if you go over to the next tab, it will say missions. Your missions are a bunch of objectives that you're going to complete, you got to complete them in order depending on which one you're doing. And it will give you a variety of weapons I believe, uh, it will also tell you like the rarity of it, it will give you emblems, spray paints, uh, titles occasionally, as well as XP and the further you are in the single mission 
the more XP you will get by completing the tasks that it gives you to do. So getting back into Ground War, I believe I'm getting an average of 12,000 to 14,000 XP per match without double XP. Double XP obviously I'll be getting around 25 to 28, maybe 30,000 XP a game. That's something that you guys really want to grind for, you'll be leveling up like crazy, get as much double XP as you can, I cannot stress that enough. Uh, but yeah, the game mode right here, Ground War, I, I would highly suggest, if you guys have not played it yet, definitely check it out because it's something that if you want to rank up fast, you really got to be playing this. And if you're trying to pick up your KD, this game mode is ridiculous. I'd say about 80% of the time I'm getting over 2.5, maybe 3 KD depending on how well I'm doing. Some games I'll go 46 and 2 or like 30 and 5. It's ridiculous how easy it is to be ranking up and picking up your KD. Just sit in the tank. It's so easy. I cannot stress it enough. Get in the tank. Sit in the tank and you'll be going off every game as you guys can see me going off here. I go on 15, 20, 25 kill streaks. I went on a 35 kill streak. I'll show it right here. Well, I'll show the kill streak right here. It says 35. That's my highest. It says kill streak. Uh, it does not count my actual guns, you know, using an actual gun. It's just counting me in the tank itself. You guys want to be impressing your friends, showing them like how high you can get your kill streak at? Just hop in a tank and just pop off. Like I was saying, I go on like 20 kill streaks, 25 kill streaks, uh, like once every couple games because people just don't use the rocket launchers against us as much as you know you think that they would. And you'd think that'd be kind of boring just sitting in a tank the entire game? No, I mean you just travel the map as fast as you can. And you're just killing people left and right. It's wicked fun. Now, unfortunately, there is like a spawn time for the tanks. Uh, like you can't just use a tank the entire game obviously like that would be kind of ridiculous So they do spawn in like once every five minutes or so you get a new tank if one gets destroyed or something like that You also have helicopters and other vehicles that you can use to traverse the map, but I believe the tank is the only uh, Vehicle that kills people besides running them over now, There are two kinds of tanks you have the passenger or I call it the passenger tank So it's just a tank with a single turret that you can use and it can uh, convoy, I believe, up to five of your teammates, including you, so six uh, people in total. There's also the other tank, I can't remember the name, but it's the one that is just two people. There's one person controlling the tank and the main turret, and you also have somebody on the top controlling the minigun on top. I prefer that one, it also has two rockets, and I believe seven uh, tank shells. Uh, and the other one also has no rockets but 14 shells so you can fire fast but also takes less damage whereas the more, two passenger one takes more damage and has less rockets but you have unlimited shells. That's gonna pretty much wrap up today's video. I'm just letting you guys know how you, if you guys want to rank up fast, if you guys want to pick up your KD, I'm giving you guys tips right here. So make sure you hop into a game of ground war, cap those flags, get in the tanks, just pick up your KD and just go off. Because if I'm right now, I'm level 108 and I'm just doing as much challenge as I get. Also, once you pass level 55, you get so much challenges that you need to complete. You don't have to, but it's helpful. It gives you a bunch of more challenges in the actual like rank progression menu. Uh, you guys will see once you reach level 55. I'll show a picture here what it looks like. But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you guys are grinding this game as much as you can. I'm going to try and reach, reach level 155 by the end of this weekend. I don't know if I can. Uh, I've been playing a lot recently. I've been taking shifts, shifts with my dad. So, you know, we've been playing a fair amount. And I don't think we're going to reach level 50, uh, 155. But hopefully we do. But that's gonna reach. Uh, that's gonna end today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below, and make sure you guys are grinding this game. And thank you guys for watching.